Right, uh, I'm in my Ionic today and uh, I'm going to show a bit of car scanner app. It's the only app that's working with my uh, cheapish uh, ODB2 connectors. Um, I have a, a OBD onboard diagnostic. That was some, someone in the comment taught me that. <laughs> I have the OBD MX or OBD Link MX Plus on order. But uh, uh, it's shipped by USPS and it's been in transit for 19 days. <laughs> so I don't know when it's going to get here. And uh, currently EV Notify and uh, Canionic is not working properly. The only app that's working is um, this one. Hopefully you can see it. Um, it's Car Scanner. Uh, I'll give a link in the description. So uh, on the first page here, I have set up Stellar Charge. This is the driving page. So I've set up uh, the state of charge, the battery power, the real vehicle speed. It is supposed to display it in miles per hour, even if I have in the settings that it should be in kilometers per hour. So I I'm going to test that afterwards, what it actually is. I have the max temperature, max ba uh, battery max temperature here, and the motor speed, that's the RPM of the motor itself. So let's go to the charging screen. Well, the first charging screen. So again, here I have the state of uh, charge. I have used the state of charge display because that's what's in the car. You have the state of charge BMS, which is the actual state of charge. Uh, it doesn't go over 95% or something in normal charging, uh, but that's the buffer that uh, Ionic has. Um, so the only way it separates them is by having two different measures. And I think when it degrades, it's going to eat the top so the BMS state of charge and the display state of charge will become more and more equal and eventually not so equal when it's starting to get heavily degraded. But I don't think that's going to happen that fast. So again here I have the battery power, which to show the charging speed. I have the voltage and the current. Those are as gauges. By the way, you can change them by double clicking the icon and then you go to view and you can select which type of indicator. This is the chart indicator. So let's go back to the screen. Uh, the current, I have the battery max temperature and the battery inlet temperature to see if it's heating the battery. Uh, right now I don't think it's heating the battery uh, because if you look at the next screen, if I can get there, <laughs> uh, I have the fan status, uh, if it's on or off. I think it's that uh, the battery inlet temperature, the battery max temperature, the battery min temperature. Oh wait, the heater is actually, it displays one degree now. It was displaying zero degree earlier. It's rather cold here today, so, or coldish. It's actually quite hot for uh, a November, uh, but there is snow outside, so. Um, but anyway, that's, uh, that's the static View. So I think I'm going to take a drive down to the um, to, to a fast charger nearby here and see what happens with the fan, with the battery heater and all of that when I try to uh, fast charge. And also when driving, I want to see if it's miles per hour or kilometers per hour. <laughs> it's rather useless to have miles for me. It's not something that's imprinted in my brain how, how fast that is. Um, yeah. So. Let's uh, hit the road. <laughs> so, uh, I'm driving a bit. And um, as you can see, it's uh, pretty much winter in here. <laughs> Lots of snow. Um, but I'm doing 60 now. And the uh, car scanner is showing 37. So it's actually miles per hour. But here you can at least see how the different variables act when I'm driving. Uh, yeah, not that much to it. Hmm. There's still no ice on the water. Uh, there was ice on the water a bit up uh, from here. So I've, I've actually driven a bit down. Oh, <laughs> I missed it. I just passed a brand spanking new Model 3. That was the refresh uh, according to the license plate number. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, the plan now is to go to the fast charger and um, 
look at the two charging pages, you can see the temperature is still very low. So, all right, so I'm in the car and you can see I have the actual app here. Um, <laughs> it's just that um, I'm trying to do the screen recording thing. Uh, so I did drive a bit further than the local charging uh, stop. I'm at Bilkraft 150 kilowatt chargers. These are actually combined 150 and um, well, it's max 150 for two chargers, but I'm the only one charging on this one, so it should get max speed. Let's see here uh, on the next page. So I'm getting 110 amps. It's a bit low, but I think it's because the battery is too low. Now we can see the battery inlet has gone up. So hopefully it's warming a bit. The voltage is climbing as well. Um, so at this spot it should really be charging almost at 70 kilowatts, at least 65 at 70% state of charge. So I think it's the heat, but it's not that bad. Let's have a look at the next screen. So here uh, you can see the battery heater is starting to crank up. Um, the fan is obviously not going yet. Yeah, the inlet is going, well, it's staying up, but... Um, 120 amps. I'm really surprised it's charging this fast at this low temperature. The Tesla would never do that. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, maybe it would, but uh, it wouldn't go much higher than uh, perhaps 100 kilowatt or something. So the battery is heating a bit up. Yeah, let's wait and see what happens after a few minutes. Yeah, so, so the damn car is charging way too fast. Uh, it's slowing down. You can see on the graph it's actually climbing up, but that's because it's a negative number. It's going up when it's charging slower. And the state of charge is already 76.5, so I don't think I'm, I'm going to get more speed. But the battery has increased quite a bit in temperature which we can see uh, the heaters are, well, they're not that hot yet, but the max battery temperature is 7 degrees. The inlet is still 8 degrees only. Um, yeah. I suspect if I had a longer charging session, this would be more interesting. <laughs> but uh, already at 77%, so... Um, Anyway, uh, I just wanted to show the configuration for car scanner. Uh, it's quite interesting. I need to figure out how to display the speed in miles per hour, uh, in kilometers per hour instead of miles per hour, because it's kind of useless for me to have it like that. Even though the settings in car scanner says kilometers per hour uh, or metric, <laughs> not imperial. But yeah, I think that's it uh, for today. So. Bye-bye.